episode book. Variations. This time we will deal with joint and combined variations. So let's focus first with joint variation. Joint variation. A variation where a variable varies directly as the product of two or more variables. It's like a it is somehow similar with direct variation, but it involves with more than one variable. The term joint variation and joint proportion are just the same. It is a variation that can be related to proportion, where we generate the equation from the formula y sub 1 over x sub 1 times z sub 1 equals y sub 2 over x sub 2 times z sub 2. Real world examples of joint variation, the volume of any rectangular prism, the simple interest of the money you put in a bank with respect to its rate and time, and many more. The reparation equation have here y varies jointly as x and z means that y equals k times x times z where k is the constant of variation. Another way of writing this is k equals y over xz. Again, k still represents the constant of variation. We still have three set of examples in each type of variation. For A, we will translate each statement to an equation using K as the constant of variation. 1. The quantity L varies jointly as the quantity of Q and R. This would be our equation. L equals K Q R. Number 2. Suppose M varies jointly as L and N. Our equation will be M equals K L N. Number 3. Z varies jointly with W and the cube of U. So Z equals K W U Q. Example B, we need to get the constant of variation and the equation of variation given that Y varies jointly as X and Z. Number 1, Y is 24 when X is 1 and Z is 6. So for the solution, we need to translate Y varies jointly as X and Z. That would be Y equals KXZ. So substitute y with 24, x with 1, and z with 6. Next, simplifying that 1, we arrive with 24 equals 6k. To cancel out 6 and to get the value of k, we need to divide both sides by 6. So as we divide both sides by 6, that would be 4 equals k, since 24 divided by 6 is 4. So, by symmetric property of equality, if you have 4 equals k, that would be k equals 4. And 4 will be our constant of variation. And with that, for our equation of variation, we will have y equals 4xz. Number 2. y is 14 when x is 7 and z is 2. For the solution, translate y varies jointly as x and z. So that would be y equals kxz. Next, substitute 14 with the substitute y with 14, x with 7, z with 2. Next, simplify. By simplifying that, we arrive with 14 equals 14k. And divide both sides by 14 to cancel out 14 and get the value of k. And as we cancel out 14, we arrive with 1 equals k. Or, k equals 1 by symmetric property of equality. 
And with that, we arrive with our constant of variation, which is 1. Next, create your equation of variation. y equals kxz, substitute k with a constant, which is 1. Remember, you don't need to write 1. Diba? You, no, you don't need to write 1. Example C. Solve the following problem. Number 1. Given that y jointly proportional with x and z, and y is equals to 30 when x equals 5 and z equals 2. Find the value of y when x is 8 and z is 5. For the solution, translate the given statement into an equation. That would be the equation. Next, substitute y with 30, x with 5, z with 2. Simplify. 30 equals 10k. Cancel out or divide both sides by 10 to get the value of k. As we cancel out 10, we arrive with 3 equals k. By symmetric property of equality, k equals 3. And k will be our constant of variation. Since we have already the value of our k, we have y equals 3xz. Now, use this equation of variation in finding y when x is 8 and z is 5. So, write the given equation. Next, substitute x with 8, z with 5. And as we simplify, y is equals to 120. Therefore, y equals 120 when x is 8 and z is 5. Number 2. Suppose m varies jointly as O and square of P, and m is 250 when O is 2 and P is 5. Find the value of m when O is 3 and P is 10. So translate the statement into an equation that would be m equals k O P squared. Substitute m with 250, O with 2. P with 5. So as we simplify, that would be 250 equals k times 2 times 25. 25 because 5 squared is 25. And as we simplify 2 or as we multiply 2 with 25, that would be 50. So we will have 250 equals 50k. Divide both sides by 50 to get the value of our k. That would be 5 equals k. And by symmetric property, k equals 5. So that would be our constant of variation. Using the constant of variation, we can create our equation which is m equals 5 o p squared. Now use this equation to find m when o is 3 and p is 10. So m equals 5 o p squared. Substitute o with 3, p with 10. 10 squared is 100. So you will have there 5 times 3 times 100. 5 times 3 times 100 is 1,500. Therefore, M is 1,500 when O is 3 and B is 10. Now, for our last type of variation, which is combined variation. Combined variation. This variation takes place when one quantity varies directly or jointly as the quantities and inversely as the other quantity. The term combined variation and combined proportion will be used interchangeably or in short, they mean the same thing. Combined variation can be related to the ratio and pro to proportion where we generate the equation from the formula y sub 1 times z times 1 over x sub 1 equals y sub 2 times z sub 2 over x sub 2.
combined variation equations are follows. Y varies directly as x and inversely as z means that y equals kx over z, where k is the constant of variation. Another way of writing this is k equals yz over x. Remember, k is still the constant of variation. So we have still three set of examples in each type of variation for this variation example a translate each statement to an equation using k as the constant of variation the quantity l varies directly as the quantity of q and inversely as r with that l equals kq over r second suppose m is directly proportional with l and inversely with O, would be M equals KL over O. Number three, Z varies jointly with W and U, and inversely with R. To that, our equation will be Z equals KW, U over R. Example B. Find the constant of variation in the equation of variation. Given that... Number 1. Given that y varies directly as x and inversely as z, y is 24 when x is 6 and z is 2. Solution translate that y varies directly as x and inversely as z. With that, our equation will be y plus kx over z. Next, substitute y with 24, x with 6, and z with 2. So y is 24, 24 equals k times 6 over 2. Simplifying that, 24 equals 3k. Now divide both sides by 3 to simplify or to cancel out 3 and we can get the value of k. So cancel 3, 24 divided by 3, that's 8, 8 equals k. Now by symmetric property of equality, k equals 8 and that would be our constant operation. Now make sure to use the value of k in creating your equation of variation. So that would be y equals 8x over z. Number 2. Number 2. Given that y varies jointly as x and z and inversely as r, y is 14 when x is 7, z is 2, and r is 1. For the solution, translate the given statement into an equation. So that would be y equals kx z over r. Substitute y with 14, x with 7, z with 2, and r is 1. Next, simplify. By simplifying this, we arrive with 14 equals 7k. Then, divide both sides by 7. As we divide both sides by 7, 14 divided by 7 is 2. 2 equals k. k equals 2 because by symmetric property of equality, you will... And k equals 2 will be our constant of variation. Equation of variation will be y equals 2xz over r. Example C. Solve the following problem. Number 1. Given that y is directly proportional with x and inversely with z, y is 50 when x is 10 and z is 2. Find the value of y when x is 8 and z is 5. Solution, translate the given statement into an equation. The equation will be y equals 2, kx over z. Substitute y with 50, x with 10, z with 2. Simplifying that, you will arrive with 50 equals 5k. Divide both sides with 5. And as we divide 5, we arrive with 10 equals k. By symmetric property of equality, k equals 10. And this is also our constant operation. Now make use of this value of k in creating your equation of variation. So y equals 10x over z. So use this equation to find y when x is 8 and z is 5. So y equals 10x over z.
y equals 10 times 8 over 5. 10 times 8 is 80. 80 divided by 5, that's 16. Therefore, y is 16 when x is 8 and z is 5. Number 2. Suppose m varies directly as r and inversely as p, and m equals 250 when r is 20 and p is 10. Find the value of m when r is 4 and p is 5. Solution. Translate the given statement into an equation. m equals k r over p. So, that would be Next, substitute the values of m to 50, r is 20, p is 10. Simplifying that, you will arrive with 250 equals 2k. Cancel or divide both sides by 2 to cancel out 2 and get the value of k. That's 125 equals k or k equals 1 to 5. That would be our constant of variation. M equals 1 to 5 R over P. This will be our equation of variation. Now use the equation of variation in finding M when R is 4 and P is 5. Substitute R with 4 and P with 5. Now 1, 125 times 4, that's 500. 500 divided by 5, that's 100. Therefore, M is 100 when R is 4 and P is 5.